Okay, there's several reasons why you might want to add a cage divider even though you've got your cages separated like mine are. We're going to talk about those reasons today and I'm going to show you a cheap, easy solution for all those problems. Hey, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name is Chris and I'm here to answer the rabbit questions today. Uh, today I'm going to discuss a topic about putting cage dividers in your cages and why you might want to do that even if you are running separate cages like I am here. And the biggest reason for that is to keep your males separated from your females. Now there's a couple of reasons. One, males tend to throw their urine from time to time when they get excited, when they get worked up, and they'll throw them all over your does if you've got them situated right next to a doe. So adding a divider in there to block that is going to keep them from doing that and keep your does a little bit cleaner. Um, another reason you might want to do that is if your cages, especially if your cages butt right up against each other and you've got a doe in one cage and a buck in the other, it's not that uncommon for them to breed through the wire. So adding some kind of divider in there to block that so that they can't get through the wire to each other can help you prevent unplanned pregnancies, help you kind of control the breeding cycle just a little bit more. So those are two major reasons for that. The other reason, and this is my personal opinion, not anything that's a scientific fact or anything like that, but my personal opinion is, seems to keep my buck a little bit calmer. He's real nice and mellow in here whenever he doesn't, he can't see the females next door. Um, the other thing I will mention is that I have seen situations where you have two does next to each other and they're sharing a cage wall and uh, one of them gets fairly aggressive and starts pulling the hair of the other one through the cage walls. So that's another reason why you might want to add some kind of divider in between there. Now let's talk about a cheap and easy cage divider for you and that's going to depend a little bit on how your cage setup is and how things are working for you. But let me bring you in close and show you what I'm using. Okay, we'll look at it from this side right here, and you can see this is my cage divider. Now these cages are, there's a pretty good gap in between these cages, but I still put a cage divider up just for the reasons that I talked about. And all this is, is a piece of aluminum flashing. I think it's 14 inches tall, and uh, it came in a 10 foot roll, and I'll put a link down below in the description so you'll, you'll know where you can get that. Um, I think I bought it at the local hardware store Lowe's or Home Depot or one of those. And for 10 feet of it, 14 inches tall, it was something like 11, maybe $12. So pretty affordable, and I just cut a piece out and just wire it, uh, just drill a couple of holes in it, wire it to the cage top and bottom, front and back. Now you could easily use a uh, piece of cardboard across here. Um, that would work as well, but it's gonna get pretty dirty and pretty nasty, you can already see. There's a lot of uh, urine stains all over this divider, so that kind of attests to why you might want to have one in there. And a piece of cardboard in here is going to get pretty nasty pretty quick and would have to be replaced quite often, but it would work. Now, I would avoid using things like, um, like a tarp in between there because if the rabbits can get a hold of that, they're going to chew it up like crazy. So this seems to work pretty well for me. It was cheap, it was easy, and I got way more than I needed out of just one roll on that. So let me know what your experience is with cage dividers. Do you use them? Have you never had a need for them? Have you had any problems with unplanned pregnancies through the wire or rabbits getting at each other through the wire, anything like that? Let me know in the comments below what your experience is with this kind of thing. And if you're using something different that's working better, let me know that too. I'm always anxious to learn from my viewers. So thank you all for watching and as always, God bless.